Alright, welcome back everyone. Hope everyone is staying safe with the whole COVID-19 thing. Um, back here on the Let's Play. Remember last time we successfully made it to Oddell Town and now we will be actually adding the first member to our team, actually, believe it or not. Uh, made a mistake in the last episode. Thought that one of my guys would have been found in Petalburg Woods. That's actually incorrect. Um, I was actually looking at Ninkata, actually, trying to go ninjask um, for this playthrough, but it turns out that Ninjask actually compared to some of the other bugs in this game a little bit too strong for the scrub playthrough here. So we're actually going to go down here and catch ourselves um, m maybe a couple Wurmple. The problem with Wurmple now, um, I'm aiming for Dust Tox. Let me just make sure here that I have some Pokeballs. Aiming for Dust Tox, but the problem with Wurmple is we all know we need Cascoon. We're going to need Cascoon to evolve into Dust Tox. Um, unfortunately, we actually will never know whether our Wurmple will evolve into Silicoon or Cascoon, so kind of something we're going to have to struggle with here. We're going to have to catch at least a couple of Wurmples just for leverage, just to ensure that we get what we want here. Um, good thing about Dust Tox, though, is. Um, one, I mean, one, you know, not a great Pokemon, obviously, wouldn't recommend it, but, uh, er, and here's a Wurmple, actually, right here. Er, early access to a really, like, quick third level evolution. I think it's, like, level 10, uh, you actually get Dust Tox. Oh my gosh, I'm hoping this pound doesn't kill this Wurmple right here. Hold on. Okay, good. Actually, did way less damage than I thought. Let's hit it again here with the pound. There we go, tree go. String shot of this now. Let's go use the Pokeballs. Should do the trick right here. It's a very weak word by level two. Okay, two shakes, three shakes, and money. All right, gotcha. Wormple was caught. Very nice. The worm Pokemon. It sticks to tree branches and eats leaves. The thread it spits from its mouth, which becomes gooey when it touches air, slows the movement of its foes. All right, so we got the first Wurmple. Um, like I said, we're going to need to catch probably like another one or two just to be safe. I mean, we will never know, based off the game's code, whether we're going to get Silcoon or Cascoon from this thing. Um, just kind of one of like the bizarre things. Uh, they kind of add it as just a mechanic in Generation 3. Kind of neat. Um, once again, kind of like another... Um, kind of paying homage, right? So I talked about last time, Generations 1 and 3. Um, kind of... Uh, kind of similarities, right? So the first gym in Generation 1 is a rock-type gym. Same thing in this game. Um, you have to go to, through Viridian City to get to Pewter City for the first gym in that game. In this game, we're going to be inevitably going through Pittleburg Woods. Um, of course, another Puchiana shows up here. You know, just trying to look for another Wurmple here. Wurmple usually spawns pretty, uh, pretty often. I'm not sure what's taking so long here. And there we go, there's our second Wurmple. Level 3, actually. This guy's a little bit stronger. Girl, rather. It's actually a female Wurmple. Yeah, so more on this Wurmple thing. Um, just reading on Bulbapedia, it's actually... Um, it's actually personality value, which there's no way of telling in the game what your Pokemon's personality value is. I mean, unless you actually, like, data mine the code of the game. Um, which no one really has time to t time for. I mean, I wouldn't even know where to start with that. Um, so yeah, can try throwing another Pokeball here at this one. We'll see if we can get this one and start grinding it out. Um, then we'll go through kind of the goals for this video shortly after. One shake, two shake, three money. There we go. All right, two Pokeballs, two Pokemon. That's what we like to see. Uh, no nickname. Did not mean to hit that. I am not a fan of nicknames. Alright, let's go back and heal these little Wurmples. Alright. So yeah, this one uh, might be a little bit shorter. We're not going to have much on the agenda. Actually, we've already passed our first goal, but let me uh, get out of this Pokemon Center and go ahead here and bring up the world map just so we can talk over what we're looking at here. You know what? We actually probably won't even have the map, right? Because we don't even have... We don't even have the Hoenn Nav. We haven't gotten to Rustboro City yet, so we're going to have to look at this the old-fashioned way. Right in the Pokemon Center, along the wall, we're going to have to look at the Hoenn region here. 
All right, so here we are in Old Dale Town. Um, so we already we already reached goal number one. We wanted to catch two different Wurmple. Um, our goal is to evolve, you know, shortly after into a Silicon or Cascoon. Um, once we do this, once we get our Dust Tox, I mean, we're going to throw Trico right in the PC. We're going to need him now just for a little bit of grinding, obviously, for XP. Uh, Wurmple is kind of a very weak Pokemon, so it's not going to be taking down things. Um, thankfully, though, along the way, our next goal is going to be reach, uh, reaching Petalburg City. So thankfully, along the way, there's a couple of trainer battles that give us a little bit more XP than a wild encounter. Um, we're going to take advantage of that all we can. Um, but yeah, then we're going to visit uh, Petalburg City. Um, you know, as I already talked about in the first, uh, first episode, obviously, fifth gym leader in this game, Norman. Uh, otherwise, the protagonist, Brendan, is actually... Brendan is actually the protagonist's uh, real name in this game. Um, his dad actually is the gym leader in Pittleburg City. So in, in this game, whoever protagonist you choose, whether you choose Brendan or May, um, your dad, Norman, winds up becoming that gym leader. We're going to go visit him, see what he's got to say. We're actually going to run into a boy named Wally as well in the gym. Um, Norman's actually going to go through showing Wally how to catch Pokemon. And we all know who Wally's going to catch. It's going to be, of course... Getting that lucky routes encounter that, like, everyone hopes for in, <laughs> in Route 102, but you never get. Of course, Wally goes out, the first Pokemon he ever sees in the wild is a routes. Go figure, right? But, you know, that's Pokemon for you. Um, but, yeah, so we're going to go through there. We're going we're gonna to meet up with Wally, um, watch him catch Pokemon, and honestly, get going and just get, and just get battling, you know, just get battling up until really Petalburg Woods, you know, hopefully, hopefully, if we can, if we can get there quick enough, um, but yeah, that's the plan for this video, if we don't get there, maybe we can skip that last part and put that in the next video along with Petalburg Woods, but, uh, without further ado, I mean, let's go. Let's switch out Wurmple here. Let's go with the level 3 one first, it's just this way it'll evolve quicker. Alright, so we're going to have to do a little switcheroo here a lot with, tri uh, with Trico. Actually, we're have the first trainer battle. This is perfect right here. Get a little bit more XP. Okay. Typical. First trainer battle being against the youngster. Youngster Calvin. Alright, Puchina comes out. Alright, no way in heck am I trusting Wurple with this. So we're going to shift out Treek out. Alright, Treek. Get it done, man. Up. Oh, Janus Howling. Getting that attack up. Good thing we... Good, really good thing we took out Wurmple. Hit it with the Absorb. Let's get a little stab here. You're saying took attack bonus. Hey, good Treek. Crit. Good job, man. Alright. There's Tackle. Let's keep absorbing. Keep getting our energy back. Why not? Get our HP. Alright, next shot should kill. Nice, we won't take damage there, we can heal again, this is perfect. Alright, Wurmple should get to level 4, I think, even though it's not going to get the full, eight, full amount of XP. Wow, I actually didn't, I'm really shocked about that actually. Okay, Youngster Calvin is down. Alright, we're gonna keep heading through here. Bug catcher right here. Alright. Bug on bug, here we go. Wurmple v Wurmple. Wurmple ain't afraid. We're going right at him. Ah, they're hitting us with the painless string shot. We're already slower anyway, they're going first. Doesn't even matter. Literally has no effect on the battle. AI mechanics in this game sometimes make you scratch your head. Uh, hit us when there's... Oh, okay. Wurmple's gonna have to come back out here. Alright. Trico, you the man, dude. Save the day. with the pound. Take him to the pound, Trico. How oh, is this not killing? Trico should still outpace after that string shot. There we go. Okay, good job, Trico. Level 4 for Wurmple. Okay, three away now from that. <laughs> we don't even know if it's going to be a Cascoon or Silicoon. We're hoping for Cascoon. Hoping and praying. Fingers crossed over here. 
Um, Alright, Sam we're we'll back out. Do a little switcheroo again, get the XP. Alright. Marple should be. If we could work at a level 5, I'll trust it in wild battles, honestly. Alright, hitting us with another string shot. Trico will still outpace. Actually, yeah, yeah, because his stats reset. I did, did switch out. Alright. So why can't these Wurmples hit us with string shots when we got armor draw out there? We'd be, we'd be getting way more XP. Right, Trico should get it this time unless he misses. There we go, Trico. Alright. Alright. Take that 64 bucks. Let's see what wild encounters we get here. Watch it be a Ralt. Ah, low tide, alright. Got low tab is on this route actually. I don't think low tag can one hit us. Let's just see how far this goes. Oh my gosh, that ground tag was just murder. Oh, I'm never gonna flinch. Wow. Shocked we didn't flinch there, honestly. Uh low tag's just gonna kill us with this this growl. I mean Wurmple's attack is abysmal as it as it is. Right there, no, I'm not using the potion, I'm saving it. Here we go. This should kill. Oh my gosh. It holds on. And that is... Okay. Yikes, only 15 for Wurmple, that's not good. Ah. Uh, Still level four. Don't think he's a trainer, actually. Another low tad. See what we do here. Eh, what the heck? I'll switch in. You know, I'm gonna hit it with absorb here. Get some more health back, and honestly, it's just it's just effective. So we'll still get stab bonus. It'll still be a pretty good attack. It's probably better. It's probably doing more base damage than our tackle anyway. Yep, there we go. Not worried about power play either. We got a Pokemon Center in Pedalburg. There we go. Growl won't even affect us. It absorbs a special attack. Oh my goodness, the slow Ted. Alright, there we go. Trico might actually level up here. Yeah, Warple did. There we go. Poison Sting, that's good. That's big. Yeah, there we go, Trico level 8. See, Poison Sting's gonna be good now because we're gonna be able to grind, and uh, I think Seedots and Lotad spawn in this route. So we should be able to Poison Sting, and that'll at least be a super effective move with the chance to poison. So it's really gonna help Warple out a lot, um, just grinding wise, just to get up to that Silk Hitter Cascoon. Pray to God it's Cascoon. Uh, for the sake of this playthrough, it'll be a lot easier for me. I don't want to do this again with another Wurmple. <laughs> uh, okay, Trico. You're the man. You're coming back out, Trick. I think, honestly, we'll most likely just keep Trico in our party through Petalburg Woods in case, God forbid, Wurmple um, faints. You know, you don't want to you know, get crit or something and just have to white out to Pedalberg. That would just be kind of a pain. So I, th I think we'll do that just to be safe. Probably stock up on some antidotes and potions before we go into the, the Pedalberg Woods, too. I do not trust myself going in there without that. Too many Pokemon in there, no poison stain. <laughs> we, all know, we all know the AI in Pokemon, too. Any chance poison sting goes off? You know, the, probably the percentages in the game, it's probably not that high you'll get poisoned, but we know darn well you're getting poisoned. Um, that's just kind of how it works. That's the reality of the game. Too many bad memories in Viridian Forest as a kid with those Weedles. Alright, no, we are not attacking this day low. I don't care how low of a level it is. That thing knows Gusk, or for any any weird reason, some kind of flying attack Morphle is toast. Alright, here we go, Trico. Yep, and it new Peck, look at that, we would have been. 
better watch ourselves even here. We better kill this thing quick. Okay, good. Thank God. Thank gosh, that was not a crit. That should be killed. There we go. All right, here we go. All right, forty-eight dollars. Get these berries over here. Let's see if there's anything good over here. Two orange berries. I think. Pretty sure this is the one for like 10 HP. That's big too for like, you know, I'll probably honestly throw those on before the first gym battle. That'll really help Dust Tox when we're using using him in that battle. I think it's really going to pay off because halfway through when he's in yellow, he'll get to recover. Probably you know, 10 HP. I mean, that's as a low level Pokemon, probably level 15, that range. I mean, that's actually really a lot. Sigzigoon. Alright. Do a little switcheroo. Definitely gonna hit with an absorb here. This will be big. We'll get some health back. This should be the last trainer, I think, too. We'll head to the Pokemon Center and then go meet up with Dad and Wally. Alright. It's nice. Getting us back into the green. Sigzigoon growling. Once again, does not affect us. We're using a special type move. Okay, ready to absorb, there we go. Just gonna hit, just gonna use pound here. Should be the trick, should be the trick. On yellow on pirate play now. There we go, Treak. Shroomish is coming out. So I think actually I talked about last episode that I was thinking about using Shroomish. Um, just in Roxanne's gym. Honestly, I was looking up Dustox. I think Dustox might be able to call me crazy, like, be okay in that gym, and I'll explain later when I actually evolve or pull into Dustox. Shroomish. Can't use Absorb here, because he's Grass-type, obviously. It won't really do much. At least this one doesn't have the, I think, effect score is the one ability um, where it like, can like par paralyze you. Oh, there we go. That, yep. <coughs> Don't speak too soon, right, guys? There's the classic effect score hitting us with the poison. I think poison actually can kill in this game, too. It's not like newer Pokemon games where it leaves you with one. So if you don't get to a Pokemon Center quick enough for heal with an anti-dude, I think you can actually go down. I'm um, in the wild. Yeah, that dreaded blast on the screen. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Used to drive me nuts as a kid. Alright, at least we're here perfectly at the Pokemon Center. Yellow. Should be able to evolve this Wurmple, honestly. I'm going to probably go back into the wild just to see. Be really nice. Be really nice if we can get a Cascoon out of this. Guys, just for the sake of time here. Gonna go ahead and fast forward these next couple wild encounters. Um, you know, it probably was only about six, seven wild encounters, but uh, granted that we're already at 22 minutes, it did take some time. It came out to be about four or five minutes. So I figured, you know, fast forwarding this just, just enough so you can still kind of see what's going on would be in the best interest of myself editing and both you guys viewing. Um, hope you guys understand. And I don't think this takes away too much from the value of the video. Thanks guys. Wow, this purple really is doing work. Level up to level 7. Kazkun, everyone please. Everyone please. Moment of truth. Dun, 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 dun. I, I forget what they look like, honestly. I don't even know which one it's going to be. I think that's... I think that's Kazkun. No, it's so cool. No. Hold up, let me check something here. Oh, no, we need a Cascoon. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. All right. Got to do it again. Warple, how did you... All right, hitting us with the strength shot. I'm, I'm hoping this does it right here. It should. It's got to, right? There we go, Warp. Cascoon, please. Come on, Warp, I believe in you.
Give me a cash cue. Nope, it's soaking. It's soaking. Unreal. Oh, it's murder. This is murder. Alright. Well. <laughs> Let's go through our goals for this video, because I think we're just going to scrap it at this point. Two Silcoons. Unreal. Struggling here. Just going through a little recap. Well, we made it to Petalburg City, so I guess two things we can say we did are... Uh, I'm looking for the town map again. i got to go in here. Two things we could say we did. One, we obviously caught two Wurmple. Okay, that was in Route 101. Um, all the way back here. Caught our two Wurmple. Made it all the way to Petalburg City safely. The only problem is we spent so much time in Route 102 trying to get those Wurmples up. We did, and they didn't have the right personality factor to get into the cask human that we need for Dust Tox. So I think, guys, um, we left Wally out on the table and uh, Norman, our dad, on the table. Um, I think we're going to put that in the next video. I'm going to combine that with probably heading up to Petalburg Woods all through here. Um, and just coming out of Petalburg Woods. And then I'll probably make the next one just heading towards Rustboro City and doing a little bit of catching outside Rustboro. Because that's where we're going to catch our next Pokemon for the playthrough. But guys, um, thanks for watching. Uh, that's Pokemon. Sometimes you run into struggles with this game. Especially kind of some of the funky stuff they do with evolution like Wurmple. Um, just nothing you can do. You can just you just got to keep playing. And you know what though? It's stuff like that that actually makes Pokemon really enjoyable because it's just funny moments like that that you can always kind of look at and be like man remember that funky thing they had going and it took me hours just to get that one thing i needed i mean that's been this game my whole life so uh yeah i mean thanks for watching guys and we'll be back uh, like i said we'll move on to uh we'll do the cutscene with wally and then we will move into battling out there just running through those trainers i mean i'll just run through them with trico and then just at that point catching a uh cascoon in the far or the the woods excuse me Petalburg woods and moving on towards rustboro city so yeah all right guys um on to that stay safe everyone with COVID 19 and see you next time